today I'm going to teach you how to do process overlap and I'm going to focus on the first one called weld and the last one which is called subtract. At the end we're going to have these two shapes here because on both I'm going to use weld first and then subtract. So to make this puzzle piece here we're going to use two shapes. First one is a square, doesn't matter which size because you can resize it later. And the second shape that I used is down here. There you go, this one. And I'm actually going to need two because see, I subtracted here and I welded here. So I'm going to need two of those. So cut and paste or Control C, Control V. If it's a Mac, Command C, Command V. And you can duplicate it, okay? So there you are. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is this shape here. Just cut this shape to make the top part of the puzzle piece. Let's select both to make sure that it's aligned. And you do that by either dragging or you can click on the first shape and then with holding your shift key, you click on the second. You click here on Align Center just to make sure it moved a little bit and that's fine. And here's the first thing you need to learn. And I'm going to add some colors to both shapes just so you understand what I'm talking about. Let's give two colors. You see how this one, this shape here is in front of the square? This is very important because when you say, when you click here Subtract, it's going, you have to look at where the shape is. It has to be in front of the shape that you want to subtract it from. So that's why I added the layers and the colors here so it it's much easier for you to see. And how do you see which one is in front? If you add colors, it's easy, right? You can see that this one is in front of this one. This one is backward, it, it's in the back, it's in the background. So let's say this is not there and you want to change. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The way to see where the shapes are in reg regarding to the other shapes is looking here. See, we were on edit before. Now if we click on layers, we see where the, they are positioned. So this shape, if you click on it, it's going to show you which one it's actually talking about because this one is the one below. So you can see that this is on top of the square and that's where you want it to be. The one that is in the front of everything will always be higher up. So let's say you want to do the opposite. You want to cut this shape out of this shape. You just drag, you just hold and drag and see now this one is in the background, but I, that's not what I want. I just wanted to show you how to do it. You just move it up and down. You can go up and down as much as you want, but it depends on what you want to cut. So I just moved it down a little bit, just so you see that this one is in front again. And we're going to use the first one, the first, the subtract function. So we go here on edit again, because that's where the process overlap is. You're going to select both shapes and you're going to click subtract. So there you are. You subtracted that shape out of the square and we have the top part of the puzzle piece done. Now we're going to use the second one. We need to move it around a little bit and turn it to the left because I want to weld it this way. The way you do that is you come here and you hold the shift key and you drag it to the left because it goes in 90 degrees. You let go and you, there, there you are. It's perfect. Let's again add some color just so you see which one is in front. So see, it's not in front, but actually for welding, it doesn't really make a difference. If you wanted to subtract, you, you would have to do the same thing. You would go here on layer, see, and you drag it up. I'm just going to leave it there in front of the, uh, of the other shape, just so you know how to do it again. But for welding, it doesn't matter because welding is about outlines. It's about the outlining. It combines everything. All the overlapping area is going to become one image. So let's position where we want it. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you. Let's say here it's good. We want to weld it together. Again, you're going to drag and 
select everything or you can select one hold the shift key and the other same thing we're going to come here to shapes and process overlap and we're going to click on weld there you are see it's about the outlining think out when you think when you look at weld think outlines everything that's overlapping is going to disappear it's going to be just one image and there you go and now you can reshape it whichever size you want so this one we're finished with this one and I'm just going to give you this example now just so I think it's always easier when you have two examples and then you can just use your imagination and use this to subtract and weld whichever way you want so this one is actually a house right but we're going to use for this one we're going to go here on shapes I'm gonna use a rectangle you just size it whichever whichever size you want it doesn't really matter right now because I just want to show you these two functions and then for the top part I'm going to use this triangle here so you can either drag it and see if it's the same size and it's always good to sh to center those so you select both you come here to align and you center just to see you don't want to cut now or weld because if if you welded now again think outlines right if you welded here you would have this shape and this would be included you don't want that so you need to slide it up and I use the arrow keys because I think it's much easier to work around the arrow keys so if you weld now you're going to have this bump which is fine we can use that let's just make sure that it's centered again align center we can we can do that let's try it's gonna it's not going to look the same it's going to have a bump here but it depends on the shape you want but let's let's just weld it the way it is right now click on weld see again it looks like a house so you can just reshape it a little bit and it doesn't look the same but I just wanted it to show you that it's about the outlining right now I'm going to do the door the door I'm going to it's the same thing that I did here because it's going to subtract but it's another shape that I used let me see where it is because I, I think I used the I used this one right for the for the um, puzzle piece but that's not the one that I want for now we're going to use this one yeah same thing I'm going to turn it to the right holding the shift key because it goes in 90 degrees I'm going to resize it because that's a huge door who wants a door that big place it here wherever you want again let's select both and make sure that they are centered there you go and here's where the colors I'm going to add, again add the colors just so we see which image is in front it's right so the door is in front so going it's going to cut subtract the door again you have to make sure it's in front of the image you want to cut okay or subtract it from we're going to select both we're going to click on subtract and there you are so these are some ways of using these two i'm going to have another video using these other two uh, overlaps here functions the divide and the remove overlap but i can guarantee you that welding and subtracting are the ones that you, you're going to use the most and that's why i wanted to focus on that today i hope you have learned and you now use your imagination and have fun this is a great software i really love it all you need to do now is to send it to your scan and cut and, and cut whatever you need so thank you very much for being here today and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.